Right now, though, a plea being made to the community to help solve a grisly homicide. The Delray Beach Police Department says pieces of a woman's body were found in three separate suitcases in the intercoastal waterway. Reporter Todd Wilson with the call for help from police. Now, the area they're focusing on is about a mile long. It's from the Linton Boulevard Bridge to the north end of the city limits of Delray Beach along the intercoastal. Now the search is on for who is responsible for stuffing a woman's body parts in three separate suitcases and dumping them in the intercoastal in Delray Beach. Based on the victim's condition, we believe the time frame in which she was put into the water to be between Monday, July 17th and the early morning hours of Thursday, July 20th. Sergeant Casey Kelly says Friday afternoon, Delray Beach police say they got a call about a suspicious bag in the water in the Intracoastal. Officers found a suitcase near the 1000 block of Palm Trail. Inside the suitcase, officers say they found human remains. A short time later, two more suitcases were found along the Intracoastal at Southeast 7th Avenue and Kasu Arena Road containing human remains. We're estimating our female victim is somewhere between 35 and 55 years of age. Uh, she is either Caucasian or Latin American. She's roughly five foot four with brown hair and may have tattooed eyebrows. She was found wearing a floral tank top, a picture beside me, with a black camisole shirt underneath and black shorts. The brand of the floral top is Vitsabi, uh, which is unique, uh, we believe. And from what we can tell as a Brazilian company. Well, Sergeant Kelly says that he is asking for the public's help to check their surveillance cameras for the folks that live in that area for any video between July 17th and July 20th, early in the morning. The reason for that is they want to find out if there are any suspicious cars or if you notice anybody that's carrying a suitcase. In Delray Beach, Todd Wilson, WPTV News Channel 5.